Welcome to another video from Dr. Lock. Okay, let's have a look at the Ross 1000 series electronic safe lock. Now, the reason um, I've got this one on the desk is because some of the older LA Guard stuff, the classic is discontinued. So you can buy a keypad, but you can't buy a lock or vice versa. So things are just not compatible there anymore. So uh, we had a look at a customer that wanted something that looked the same as the LA Guard, but we've gone further the Ross lock. Now, just looking over this product, the first look, that's kind of what we're doing. The footprint and the keypad are all pretty much the same as what you'd expect from the LA Guard or some of the Carver keypads. So it's a complete swap out refit. Uh, with safe, Ross safe locks, I've always been impressed with, um, with their products. In actual fact, here's some keys here from their uh, 100 range. Their 100, 600 and 700 has definitely been the benchmark for good safe locks. So now they're going into digital. Let's see what's, uh, see what's in the box. Even the box is pretty cool, see that? Da, 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 da. All right, so we have ourselves a keypad. Let's look at this keypad. We have ourselves some screws, standard sort of screws. So what you do is you'd fit them onto the door of the safe and they have this like little knuckle that sits out and then you just put it over top, slide it down. To replace your battery, you do the same thing. You just lift up your keypad, lift up your keypad, pull it away and replace your battery. Nine volt battery, once again, only use decent batteries, don't use cheap batteries. Your cable as well is just a ribbon cable, nothing special there. I mean, it's fairly fairly thin. You shouldn't have any troubles getting that through the door. What are we looking at? Uh, six mil, let's say. Six mil by one and a half mil. And the plug, you've got to remember you're pushing this through a steel door, so let's measure it. Six mil by about nine mil, giving it a little bit. So you push that through your safe door and you install it. So the battery goes vertically and your lungs go vertically. You slide it down buttons feel good branded Ross most importantly made in Australia okay now have a look at this bad boy stainless steel nicely done we've got a nice uh, swing bolt there by the look of it bolts on so this should bolt into the exact same footprint I'd be saying you just basically take this off take the bolts off and bolt it straight onto the mild steel back of the back of the safe the footprint will be the same it's always the same. These three bolts, some have four, but it's this three bolts basically just bolt into any, even if you're changing from a combination to a digital, you could do that. Um, or if you're changing from a digital to this digital, it's not a problem. On the back of the case, you can see the plug in. There's only one way this plug can go in, so there's no problems here whatsoever. Um, the, the keypad would be done and all the brains would be stored in here, the codes and things like that. So I'm looking at it, it's a fair bit of stainless, it's still a little measurement here. Zero these down. Lock body 61 by 61.40 by 85 with the plate as well, 22. Um, the standard stud pattern, so I'd be saying 41 across that way and about 65 across there. That's just roughly. Um, yeah, warranty is valid if you remove it, never pull this part apart and you're good to go. All right, instructions. Did they give us instructions? Yes, they did. Nicely done. Operating instructions. Give this one to the customer and that'll tell you how to change the battery. It'll tell you how to change the code. Um, enter six zeros, two beep sound, enter the factory, set manager code, one, two, three, four, five, six, two beep sound, enter the new six digit code, one beep sound. To verify, re-enter the same manager code, one beep sounds. Enter the new manager code to verify the code has been accepted, two beep sound. Make sure you do all this with the door open. Never do it with the door locked. So we've got to open for the first time, to change the manager's code, to add a user code for the first time, to change the battery, to change the user code, to disable the user code, to enable the user code, to delete the user code, standby mode, wrong entry penalty. Um, if four cons consecutive in invalid codes have been entered, a five minute uh, delay period will be activated. A beep, an interval beep of five seconds will sound after this period has expired. So very much like time delay on the, a lot of the other locks. Uh, a relock will occur within four seconds. Automatic relock, low battery indicator. Okay, so this is when you want to um, change it. If during unlocking cycle, the repeater beeps are heard detecting the battery is low, uh, it's recommended to use Energizer Duracell. Operating instructions, change the user code. So pretty cool, pretty straightforward, nice and easy. Comes with a number here, I would uh, keep that number. That might be something, there might be some factory overcode, you might need that number to be decrypted, to find out if there is some backdoor into this lock, who knows? I don't know how that works, but um, yeah. These are super code operating instructions. 
so uh, super code operating instructions and the other one is operating instructions so that's for the customer this will be for more of the installer pretty cool lock um, I like it I always like Ross products but that is the Ross 1000 let's get this right Ross 1000 digital safe lock made in Australia well manufactured by an Australian company I'm pretty sure it'd be made in Australia and they make some of the really top-notch safe locks this is available in our lock shop dlock.com.au if you have any questions uh, send us an email or put the comments down below thanks for watching